Good morning, everyone, and happy St. Patrick's Day to you all, and thank you very much for joining us this morning. My name is Mayor Kevin Burns of the City of Geneva, and I have the honor of serving as the chair of the Environment Committee and Energy Subcommittee of the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus of Chicago. We have a wonderful program for you this morning, and I am particularly excited to share with you and to celebrate some of the newest members of the Soul Smart, Soul Smart, excuse me, cohort through the Chicago region. We have 10 communities who are being celebrated, and I'm looking forward to joining them in their celebration. First, I'd like to introduce you to a very special guest of ours. And I want to make certain that I do this absolutely correct. So forgive me for just one moment. There we go. Folks, we're being joined by and participating with our friends at Argonne National Laboratory. This morning, we're gonna have a tour of the laboratory, a virtual tour, of course, but nonetheless, just as exciting, and we are just as proud to have Argonne as our friend. A special thank you to my friend and yours, and a friend of the region, and a friend of energy, sustainability, and research nationwide, and indeed worldwide, the director of Argonne National Laboratory, Paul Kurtz. Paul, thank you very much for joining us this morning. You have been a friend of not only our efforts, but efforts worldwide with respect to sustainability and environmental research. And I wanna thank you for joining us this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, every newly designated Soul Smart community will be recognized and the mayor and staff leaders of Soul Smart for each community will make some brief comments this morning. We're all familiar with the virtual events, but for now, here are some tips for participating. As a participant, you have the capability to share your camera feed and unmute your microphone, of course. We ask that you keep your camera off and microphone muted during the presentations and virtual tour. And after all new Soul Smart designated communities are honored, we will all recognize these community achievements. At that time, we will encourage you to turn on your camera and use the reactions feature button in the Zoom toolbar to clap and of course, cheer virtually. If you have any questions related to the technology of this meeting, for example, if you can't hear or see a presentation, please click on the chat icon on the bottom of your screen, send a message directly to AV support or within the main chat, and we will help you troubleshoot whatever issue you're facing. We also encourage you to use the chat to ask questions or comments throughout the meeting. And today's session is being recorded and may be made available after the meeting. As chairman of the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus Environment Committee and Energy Subcommittee, I have the privilege of observing community success in sustainability throughout the entire region. As such, it's thrilling to celebrate, as indicated earlier, 10 new communities who are joining the Soul Smart Collaborative. We are a regional council of nearly 275 municipalities in Northeastern Illinois. We do our very best to support these successes both at a community level and in collaboration across the region. We have two very useful tools to help foster these successes. First, our Greenest Region Compact. The Greenest Region Compact articulates clear and sensible sustainability goals. It is now adopted by 141 local governments in the region, the largest region of sustainability collaborative in the United States. And second, our new Climate Action Plan for the Chicago region articulates goals to both mitigate greenhouse gas emissions and adapt to impacts of climate change in an equitable fashion. Both of these tools identify action to accelerate clean energy as an important strategy and responsibility of local governments. These specific actions are guided and supported by the Soul Smart program. Soul Smart, as many of you know, has been a terrific accelerator of solar energy in our region. With help from the Soul Smart program, our communities have developed expertise and created helpful solar policies. 
earning Soul Smart designation has brought solar investments to all of our communities. Earning Soul Smart designation has established our region as the leader in municipal solar policy. We'll hear more about that in just a moment. And Soul Smart is supported by the US Department of Energy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce all of you to the US Secretary of Energy, a friend of ours, a friend of sustainability, a friend of the region. Please say hello to Secretary Jennifer Granholm. We are thrilled to welcome the 16th US Secretary of Energy and just the second woman to lead the US Department of Energy. Secretary Granholm was also the first woman elected as governor of Michigan and the Michigan Attorney General before that. She's an attorney, an educator, an author, an accomplished public servant. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary Granholm. Thank you, Mayor Burns, for the kind introduction and for all of your tremendous work with the Metropolitan Mayor's Council. I'm, I'm really thrilled that Argonne National Lab and the Interstate Renewable Energy Council and the International City and County Management Association and the Mayor's Councils have all joined together to host this, this real celebration of Soul Smart and our new designees. You know, there's a simple reason why, because there is just enormous room for growth in solar energy capacity. And to take full advantage, we want to increase the current, current rate of deployment of solar by up to four times over. So at DOE, we've set this goal of cutting the cost of solar in half once again by the end of the decade, which makes it the cheapest source of energy available, period. But we also want to make it easier for folks to go solar. And that means faster siting, and that means speedier permitting and interconnection, and that means growing a, a well-trained and well-paid workforce that can get these panels up and running. And therefore, enter Soul Smart. This is a program really that supports local governments that want to remove local barriers around solar deployment. We offer technical assistance, we offer guidance, best practices for opening a community up for business on solar. And that, of course, in turn helps them attract new solar businesses and create new jobs in the solar industry and save taxpayer resources, all the while advancing sustainability goals. Every city, every county, every small town, every regional organization is eligible to join Soul Smart. And I just have to say this, the assistance that we offer, no strings attached, is free. Let me say it again, it is free, no cost, I mean it. So nearly 430 communities now nationwide have taken advantage and have earned this Soul Smart designation. They're spread across 41 states, including the District of Columbia, and the US Virgin Islands. Uh, more than 100 million Americans call these communities home. And today we're recognizing 10 of the latest additions, uh, latest designees to this group, all 10 are from the Chicago area, giving Illinois 59 soul smart communities in total. That's the most of any state. And let me pause here to give a round of applause to the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus. You know, as Soul Smart advisors, they engage directly with communities, particularly underserved communities, to help them overcome local challenges to solar development. They've helped dozens of Illinois communities join the Soul Smart ranks, including the 10 that we are celebrating today. And, and we really look forward to celebrating dozens more. So, for those of you who are tuning in who don't live in a Soul Smart community, make some calls to city hall make some calls to your local elected officials because together we can help to deliver on president biden's clean energy goals to get to 100 percent clean electricity by 2035 and we can do it one community at a time so many congratulations on the new designees and back to you mayor burns Thank you, Secretary Granholm. Uh, your encouragement to call City Hall, I had to turn my cell phone to silent because I'm getting lots of calls already. So thank you very much for that encouragement. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, who I introduced just briefly earlier, is our friend, the director of Argonne National Laboratory, Mr. Paul Kearns. 
He has served as director of the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne Lab since 2017. Our friend Paul manages a multidisciplinary science and engineering research center with, check this out, a $1.1 billion diversified research portfolio and more than 3,500 employees, 6,000 facility users, and 1,600 visiting researchers. Under Dr. Kern's leadership, the laboratory's strategic vision is set to deliver pivotal discoveries, pioneering leadership, and powerful scientific tools and facilities. Dr. Kearns, welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Burns. Uh, good morning and welcome everyone. I am Paul Kearns uh, and I have the honor, uh, it's a true honor of serving as the director of Argonne National Laboratory. It's my pleasure uh, uh, for the third year, I believe, to co-host the uh, Soul Smart Recognition event with the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus. Argonne is happy to collaborate with local civic leaders to bring renewable energy technology to nearby suburbs with the help of Soul Smart, which is led by the Interstate Renewable Energy Council, IREC, and funded by the U.S. Department of Energy. Dewey's Office of Solar Energy Technologies has been a great partner for Argonne's research, our development activities, as well as our deployment of clean energy technologies. We value their strong support and their continuing effort really to, to make a difference in the world. It's fantastic. I appreciate, uh, really appreciate the remark we just heard from Secretary Gramholm. She's marvelous. She's a fantastic leader. She's really done a great deal in terms of setting a, a much more aggressive and impactful uh, course for the Department of Energy and I agree wholeheartedly that the soul smart communities uh, play a central role in our nation's transition to a clean energy economy. Argonne is leading the way, as she commented, at, as the number one state in the country with the most municipalities designated as soul smart communities, 59 in total, as the secretary highlighted, more than any other state, which is just fantastic. Congratulations to the 10 newest members of this distinguished group of local communities recognized by SoulSmart for their efforts to reduce barriers to solar energy use for homes and businesses. Since Argonne's establishment in 1946, we've unlocked new science frontiers and solved big complex problems for our country and our world. One such challenge is mitigating the negative effects of climate change. Argonne is committed to helping meet that challenge by advancing climate research with our world-class talent and our one-of-a-kind scientific tools and facilities. At our Joint Center for Energy Storage Research, we are developing next-generation batteries for long-duration storage, extending the availability of solar-produced electricity, not just to the evening when there's peak demand, but also to cover consecutive cloud or cloudy days. To do this, our scientists at the Advanced Photon Source are working with researchers from around the world to discover new battery materials that are safer, store more energy, and are less expensive. The APS provides ultra-bright, ultra high-energy X-ray beams that generate data in unprecedented detail, really helping us to understand how materials work and how to improve their performance. They are then taking that data from the advanced photon source to the Argonne Leadership Computing Facility to perform billions of simulations to find the most promising materials. Our capacity to model and analyze the materials performance will grow even more with the delivery of the Aurora Exascale computer uh, later this year. Aurora will be the, among the most powerful and fastest computers in the world. Our scientists are also collaborating with industry, academia, and government at our materials engineering research facility. The 28,000 square feet facility is helping to accelerate the scale up of new complex materials and chemicals and reduce the risk of moving these new materials into the commercial marketplace. These are a few examples of our work in renewable energy. It's exciting, impactful, and quite meaningful. To show you how we are accomplishing this research, we have a live tour of our solar energy research. Uh, we'll bring you directly into our facility so you can see where the science happens. And then we have a video clip of our data visualization lab, also known as VizLab. Its active mural is an interactive display that turns data and numbers into images and animations, which help us study climate change uh, with, the aid, with the aid of high resolution climate models. Again, congratulations to the 10 recognized communities. Your leadership is notable. It moves our state forward. It, it certainly helps us reach our clean energy goals. Our shared efforts are accelerating the science and technology that drive U.S. prosperity and security. 
Now let's watch that live tour and then the video clip. So please. Good morning. I'm Elena Rashkova, scientist from the Center for Nanoscale Materials, CMM, at Argon National Lab. Uh, now I am in a wet chemistry lab where synthesis and assembly are being done. Uh, solar energy transformation is uh, one of our key research efforts in CNM. Uh, we are very inspired by biological phenomena since uh, many natural processes involve energy transformation, such as uh, interaction of light uh, with biological molecules, pigments, uh, photosynthesis. Uh, we develop uh, novel materials uh, and assemblies uh, uh, using a variety of um, building blocks, including nanoscale materials, uh, such as um, uh, metal oxides, noble metals, perovskites, quantum dots, and we uh, very often add soft materials such as biological and organic molecules. For example, uh, I hold here a um, flask uh, with a sunlight loving microorganism, uh, which utilizes uh, its uh, uh, surface as a tiny uh, solar panels. And here in this vial, uh, these solar, uh, this, uh, solar panels isolated from microorganisms are isolated and diluted in water. So uh, also uh, I hold uh, uh, titanium dioxide nanoparticles, one of the most uh, efficient and versatile uh, photocatalysts. However, this photocatalyst also known as white paint absorbs only uh, UV light. Once uh, these uh, purple membranes integrated with titanium dioxide, they can just hydrogen generation through water uh, splitting, uh, carbon dioxide reduction to add uh, value added uh, chemicals, and also for photosynthesis of uh, uh, high energetic uh, organic molecules for energy storage. So when we are uh, curious about and to find answers about uh, fundamental uh, mechanisms of uh, sunlight and matter interaction, or we are developing of uh, new uh, assemblies and devices with practical value, we are interested uh, to use um, reliable uh, reliable tools and uh, for, uh, which allows us to characterize uh, materials and also to study mechanisms of solar energy transformation. So now I'm going to uh, uh, transfer you to my colleague, Dr. Richard Schaller, who is going to talk about it in his um, laser lab. Thank you. Hey, hi, my name is Richard Schaller. I'm a scientist in the Center for Nanoscale Materials. I'm also the group leader for nanophotonics and biofunctional structures. Uh, if you'll follow me over this way. Uh, so as Dr. Rajkova uh, referred to, we, we spend a lot of time making materials that, that we're interested in for prospective use in solar energy technologies. Uh, in many cases, we perform characterizations such as uh, trying to understand where the atoms are in these uh, substances we produce or what types of assemblies they form. Uh, these are all relevant to how they ultimately might function. So uh, this involves both chemical analysis, trying to understand uh, chemically what's there, physically what's present uh, in these types of characterizations. But uh, in order to understand how these materials actually function, we have to go to a different type of method, uh, which is ultrafast spectroscopy. And so if you follow me this way. Okay, so we'll enter a laser lab here. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, now you've entered what's called the laser control area. And then here we use uh, femtosecond amplified titanium sapphire lasers to uh, probe how electrons, when they're excited by say a solar photon, uh, uh, react uh, in the material for converting energy and, and uh, you know, producing electrical power or catalytic products. And so uh, if you look at this system, 
Um, this is this is a, a amplified commercial laser. It pulses 5,000 times a second. Uh, those pulses in time are 10 to the minus 13 seconds long. So human perception is about 50 milliseconds or 0.05 seconds. So this is something like 10 or 100 billion times faster than human perception that these lasers fire. Um, we need these super short pulses because electrons in materials uh, undergo different processes that we're interested in uh, upon these excitations. And so if you, uh, if you look here, we take uh, the output of this laser, we split it into two parts. One part goes off and uh, turns this laser, which makes 800 nanometer light, which is in the near infrared and your eye cannot see, uh, into 400 nanometer light, which you, you should be able to see coming around the table here. Um, another part of the beam that we make use of is making white light. So if you look on this card, you'll see that there's a uh, part of the laser light has been converted into a white light spectrum. We cross those two beams on a sample. Uh, these are nanoparticles and CAD sonide that are, are used in solar energy technologies as well as catalytic processes. And then we essentially just watch the absorption spectrum of the material change over time after you've excited the material. So this, this helps us understand in a, in a solar energy conversion process, uh, you, uh, how long do the electrons exist in the material? What processes are they undergoing of relaxation? Um, is the material actually useful in, in a way that we would desire? And so we can start to understand, do we have uh, loss processes that are, are detrimental? And then this feeds back to our synthetic chemists, such as Dr. Rajkova, uh, among others within our center to try to uh, make materials that have uh, improved use. And this is all uh, the mechanistic uh, aspect of this, the prospective use of these materials, we also discuss with uh, other partners and try to uh, promulgate these to become useful technologies. So thank you very much for attending. Uh, we now I believe are going to a video of the visualization laboratory. Thank you. Welcome to the Visualization Laboratory at Argonne National Laboratory. Located in the Theory and Computing Sciences Building, the Viz Lab is home to the Active Mural, a 27-foot by 8-foot interactive display wall. Made up of 66 million pixels, the screen allows researchers to study scientific images in great detail. The process begins with Argonne's Leadership Computing Facility, or the ALCF, the ALCF has housed some of the world's fastest supercomputers in large-scale graphics and visualization computers. The applications and simulations that run on ALCF resources create extremely large amounts of numbers and data, information that is difficult to understand without some kind of visual representation. For example, it would be hard for any person to process all of the numbers involved in modeling the formation of the universe. But by using resources like state-of-the-art graphics processing units, or GPUs, the VizLabs team can create images and animations from that data. Now the information starts to make sense, and you can begin to picture how structure formed after the Big Bang and what role the mysterious dark matter played in that formation. Our work at the Viz Lab is not just confined to national laboratories or universities. We collaborate with corporations like Boeing and GE to better visualize components that may impact commerce, industry, or our everyday lives. Working with GE Research, for example, the Viz Lab is providing detailed representations of a blade from a wind turbine. Our images help engineers better understand the relationship between blade design and dynamics, like airflow that might cause drag or friction. Looking closer at this animation, you can see several different views that are synchronized together. This enables researchers to see areas of interest in greater detail, like the trailing edge of the turbine blade, while also visualizing the behavior of the complete structure for context. Additionally, the Viz Lab is equipped with motion capture cameras along the top of the active mural and along the back of the room. These cameras allow us to interactively explore large, complex data on the display in high resolution enabling collaboration between domain scientists and computer scientists. 
This data could come from simulations, like those run on ALCF resources, or collected from powerful instruments, like Argonne's Advanced Photon Source. The VisLab's resources can be applied to many other sciences as well. They can help us study climate change with the help of high-resolution climate models pioneered by Argonne, allow us a closer look at how cancer cells are transported through our bloodstreams, or visualize the behavior of molecules that can aid in the design of new materials. These are just a few examples of the type of visualizations that are possible and the level of detail the VisLab can provide. Come explore the world from a new perspective. Thank you for virtually visiting Argonne's Visualization Laboratory. For further information on Argonne and the ALCF, please visit www.anl.gov. Wow. I think the only thing you can say after that is wow. Thank you, Dr. Schaller, and of course, uh, Dr. Rushkova for your personal comments. And if you're like me, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's, I think, pretty evident that um, despite my, what I thought was a prowess in chemistry and advanced chemistry and physics in high school, I clearly chose the right path because all that stuff is not only impressive, but is clearly important and I am not skilled enough to pursue, but I'm delighted to have had that sneak peek. So thank you again, Argon, our friends. We appreciate you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, for the energy, or I should say for solar energy to thrive in our region, the solar energy industry has to thrive as well. As local governments, we are glad to do our part to help the solar industry support green jobs and of course, clean energy. It's my pleasure, a personal and professional pleasure to welcome Marcus Pitchford, the new Central United States Regional Manager for the Solar Energy Industry Association SEIA. My friend Marcus was active in our Environment Committee regionally and active in sustainability locally during his tenure as Director of External and Legislative Affairs for the beautiful city of Waukegan. During that time, Marcus helped Waukegan earn Soul Smart Gold. I've known Marcus for many, many years, and I am delighted to see him again. And I welcome you, Marcus, to the floor, and I gladly yield the floor to you. Thank you, Mayor Burns. Good morning. My name is Marcus Pitchford. I am the Central Regional Manager for the Solar Energy Industry Association, which covers the Midwest and Texas. I want to first congratulate all the municipalities for your Soul Smart Designation Award. Permitting is a crucial component of the solar energy industry for both companies and customers. The Solar Smart Award and being found online is a tool to spark the flame for solar development in your community. In my former role as Director of Legislative and External Affairs for the City of Waukegan for five years, I saw firsthand how receiving a Gold Soul Smart Award created opportunities for economic investment, creating jobs for residents and minority contractors. And now there's an opportunity to expand and bring additional toolbox that innovates and elevates municipal services by reducing staff costs and creating business-friendly environment with the Solar App Plus. It's an online software that reviews residential solar and storage applications for building fire electrical code, compliance, processing payments, and issuing permits. It cuts average permit processing time to less than an hour while also improving quality and safety. The solar app was developed by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, a division of the federal government, through a rigorous and collaborative process with leading subject matter experts in building safety, code making community, the National Fire Protection Association, the International Code Council, and the International Association of Electrical Inspectors. Solar App Plus is offered to cities and counties permitting departments at no cost. I'll say that again, as a former municipal official, at no cost. For more information, I will leave my contact information in the check, check box if you're interested in bringing the Solar App Plus to your community. 
let's all do our part and help decarbonizing the grid and making a sustainable future. I'll let you take it back, Mayor Burns. Thank you very much, Marcus. Always a pleasure to see you and keep up the great work. We're delighted to work with you in your new role. And hopefully we'll be able to see each other live sooner rather than later. Ladies and gentlemen, we are deeply grateful to the Soul Smart program for their generous assistance and support over the last four years. SoulSmart, as we all know, is a program of the Interstate Renewable Energy Council. The SoulSmart program brings deep expertise in solar energy policy and the solar industry. They provide tireless technical assistance to the communities seeking SoulSmart designation. Our special thanks to, of course, our SoulSmart staff, Dave Dalembeski, Avery Palmer, and Teresa Perry for coaching and assistance. And I'm pleased to welcome Teresa to tell us about the SoulSmart program. Teresa Perry has been director for SoulSmart Technical Assistance since June of 2019. She has worked in the clean energy arena for more than 15 years, including wind development, solar and geothermal purchasing, and management of renewable energy credits. Teresa's interests lie in helping all communities meet their clean energy goals and ensuring equity in access to solar development. Teresa, good morning and thank you for being with us. Good morning, Mayor Burns. Thank you so much for that introduction. I appreciate it. Um, I'm just going to spend a little time talking about Soul Smart because uh, it's, it's my my passion. Um, so starting with um, this this introduction, I know a lot of you already um, know what what Soul Smart is, but for those who don't, we do work with communities on establishing best practices. Um, to make the solar process uh, move more quickly, more efficiently, and demonstrate that a community is open for solar business. Um, we are available to any community that would like to participate in the program. And if you take a look at the bottom right of this slide, you can see um, that the uh, soulsmart.org is our website. There are so many resources. So if you're a community that's not sure whether you're ready to do this or not, you can take a look. You can use any of our resources. There's tons of webinars, uh, templates, training, all of that is there for you. So, so I encourage you to take a look and see if this is something for your community. I, I think we are, um, and we're happy to help. Um, as you can see on this slide, once again, no cost to you uh, technical assistance. So really providing local governments with what they need to become uh, savvy in the world of solar development. Next slide, please. Uh, we do have three tiers of designation, uh, very originally called bronze, silver, and gold. Um, we start with some basics, uh, three prerequisites, and then some points. We have 75 um, different credits that are available. Uh, communities can choose the credits that are most um, applicable to the work that they want to get done in their community. So within the um, SoulSmart Within the bronze designation, we've got 60 points that are required. And again, communities are selecting what works for them. Silver, um, you have to get the bronze and then three more prereqs and 100 total. We did have a, a study done of our program recently and found that at the time of this study, um, no two communities selected the same um, uh, exact uh credits to do. So I really uh, um, think that it's beneficial for communities to be able to look and see what are my goals, what do I want to do, and then how am I going to do that? And, and we help you define that path. If you take a look at gold, you can see these communities, they've, they've done 200 points total. They've really done a tremendous amount of work to make sure that they are able to participate as fully as possible in the, in the solar process. Next slide, please. Here's our current numbers as of this morning, 444 designees. It is changing daily. As you know, we're in the middle of a campaign that Secretary Granholm has worked with us on. So we are getting quite a flurry um, right now, but 444, 171 of those are gold designees. Um, we have 41 states, the District of Columbia, and I also wanna note also the uh, US Virgin Islands is in there. Um, representing 102 million people, uh, one in four Americans, U.S. citizens, uh, lives in uh, a SoulSmart designated, designated location. 
We also have a lot of regional orgs um, that are designated 11 total now. So that is a, a newer pathway for us in the last couple of years and working toward getting more regional organizations. Next slide, please. Illinois has been amazing, just really fantastic. Um, as you've heard, 59 total, um, which is really fantastic. The Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus really playing a huge part in that. So thank you so much for, for all the work in that. That region-wide collaboration really helps. And as Mayor Burns talked about the plans and strategies um, for the area, it's really making a difference. Um, the evaluation that I mentioned has uh, clearly demonstrated, we have an article now in the uh, proceedings for the National Academy of Sciences clearly demonstrating there is an, a, an effect of the work that the local governments do to adopt these best practices in deploying more solar. So, so just fantastic. Um, the state of Illinois had a record um, deployment of solar in 2021 of 500 megawatts. Uh, this is a mix of utility scale, residential and commercial solar installations, but really just showing the leadership of this state, which is fantastic. Um, I also wanna note that this, this development is not just bringing clean energy, but it's also bringing clean energy jobs. There are more than 5,000 solar jobs in the state of Illinois right now. Next slide, please. This is what the Chicago area looks like. Um, each of one of those little dots is a community that is SoulSmart designated. So these 10 new communities, which I know you're, you're uh, gonna hear their names. Uh, I think I have them on the next slide, but um, you, you can see they're joining uh, the leaders in the area of Chicago, Oak Park, Evanston, um, Lake Country. They're, they're all um, just, I'm sorry, Lake County, um, they're all just leading the way and continuing to um, bring really just great solar deployment in this state. All right, next slide, please. So some of the things, uh, you know, I mentioned there's 75 different criteria that communities can choose from. Some of the things that these 10 um, communities have done, um, clarifying the permit process, um, making it more efficient, making it transparent, creating checklists. So uh, residents and solar developers alike know what's going to be happening in that, um, in that community when they, when they deploy solar on their rooftop posting a solar landing page, making it very evident. You can list local installers. You can list consumer protection resources, really helpful for the citizens in your communities to go forward. Um, we've reviewed zoning ordinances, um, looking for barriers to solar deployment in them, correcting those, um, identifying those gaps. Um, and we have provided training um, that uh, on solar best practices for permitting inspection and zoning for all these local gov governments. So uh, great work in getting that done. Next slide, please. I want to say yes, congratulations to all 10 of these designees. They are listed here, Bensonville, Broadville, Carroll Stream, Geneva, Gurney, Hazelcrest, Mount Prospect, North Lake, Oak Forest, Westmont, really fantastic job. And also wanna say again, congratulations to Dave Golombeski. I know he's, he's worked hard with all these communities and um, um, made a difference in how they've moved forward. Next slide, please. Oh, my, I, I think this is it, but take a look at my email. Uh, you can contact me anytime. I am happy to make sure that you are set up with the, with the right tools to move forward. Thank you, Mayor Burns. I'm all set. Thank you, Teresa, very much. I also, I wanna echo something you said, Teresa, before I continue, and that is a, a shout out to your team, particularly Dave Golombeski, who I had the pleasure of working with. And without his and your, Team's leadership, uh, I know a lot of communities would not be where they are today, particularly my hometown of Geneva. So thank you very, very much. Folks, it's now time to recognize municipalities who have earned the Soul Smart designation. And this is going to be huge. So prepare yourself, get ready for some extraordinary speeches. If you've got popcorn, grab it. If you've got something nice and cool to drink on this St. Patrick's morning, grab it. So let's go, folks. Combined, we want to make solar faster, easier, and cheaper. And these communities have done exactly that. With the help of Soul Smart staff and a bit of encouragement from the Mayor's Caucus, these municipalities have met the rigorous requirements to earn Soul Smart designation. This designation is a signal, a very powerful signal, 
to residents, businesses, and solar companies that the community supports solar energy and has thoughtfully taken steps to make it easier to install and operate. Now I'm going to announce each of the 10 Soul Smart communities and their designated level. A representative from each community is invited to make comments for one minute to address their motivation and aspiration for earning Soul Smart. Mayors or community representatives remarks, we welcome you. We look forward to celebrating with you. So let's begin with bronze level designation. To earn bronze, folks, Soul Smart designees focused on creating a clear solar permitting checklist and reviewing their zoning code. These bronze designees earned a minimum of 60 points. Okay, folks, ready for this? The village of Westmont, it's my friend, Larry McIntyre, communications director. Larry, good morning. Good morning, thank you very much. Um, yes, I'm the communications director for the village of Westmont. I'm also the staff liaison to our village of Westmont environmental improvement committee. Uh, this is a group that's been around for a few decades now. We started back in the 90s and uh, our group consists of resident volunteers and staff and it's our mission to make sure that environmental topics are discussed and addressed by our community. And uh, when we learned about the ability to achieve and receive the Soul Smart certification, we jumped on it and uh, our staff and volunteers work together. And uh, we wanna thank all, all of you for your help in achieving this and uh, looking forward to uh, continuing that growth. Fantastic. And congratulations to you. We thank you. you very much. Our next bronze designee, ladies and gentlemen, from the beautiful city of Oak Forest, please welcome Edmund Cage, Director of Community and Economic Development. Good morning, Mr. Cage. Good morning, Mayor Burns. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate the Mayor's Caucus and Soul Smart for all the uh, assistance with this program. I came in midway. Uh, I would like to give a shout out, obviously, to uh, the Mayor of Oak Forest City Council. And I think one of the things that is important to us um, is that it's a shared uh, group, uh, different departments within the uh, City of Oak Forest, from um, planning and zoning, economic development, uh, building, administration, and communication. So I think you know, renewable energy obviously is a key, um, key topic and a key issue at this time. Um, and I think really that aspect plus in addition to um, the aspect that that information is now posted online in a clear and concise manner for the residents. Um, obviously we all serve the residents and I think that's important. So if you're a resident, you can get that information and you can get it easily and quickly. And again, I echo certainly your comments, Mayor, that um, Dave with Soul, Soul Smart, very helpful, very knowledgeable, and we wouldn't be here today without him. So again, thank you, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Folks, we're heading to the beautiful city of North Lake. My friend and fellow Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus Executive Board member, the Honorable Jeffrey Sherwin. Mayor Sherwin, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, you know, our goal was simply just to make getting uh, a solar permit as easy as a, getting a siding permit or a window uh, replacement permit. And SolSmart helped us achieve that goal. So it's a pretty easy process. Uh, you know, as long as your contractor is qualified and registered, you're pretty much good to go. So that was our goal. And I think we've achieved it. And we're seeing a lot of solar panels popping up on rooftops. Thank you, Mayor Sherwin. It's, it's good to have you on the team as well. So, my pleasure. I will dramatically put on the bronze medal around your neck right now. So. <laughs> well done. And now, one of the coolest guys I know, the village of Hazelcrest's Mayor Bernard Alsbury, who's also a member of the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus Executive Board. Mayor Alsbury, congratulations and good morning. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, everyone. All right, it's an honor to receive the Soul Smart designation today, along with the other nine caucus communities. Uh, once introduced to the program, the Village of Hazelcrest has been committed to earning Soul Smart designation and will continue to strive to gain even more knowledge and higher designations uh, in improving solar market conditions by making it faster, easier, and more affordable for our residents and businesses to install our solar energy system. The Village is committed to the effort to work with Soul Smart team, the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus, and other solar advisors in the future. 
As a signator on the Metropolitan Mayor's Greenest Region Compact uh, 2, uh, better known as GRC2, the village supports initiatives at the municipality level and throughout the region that advances the de and, uh, deployment of re renewable energy, support in clean energy, and engage the community in clean en energy practices. The GRC2 framework, a champion tool to the Greenest Region 2 Compact Pledge, it aligns the Soul Smart Program Guidelines. Uh, aligns with the SOPA SMART uh, guidelines. The village will continue to focus on goals and strategies common uh, to GRC2 framework and SOL SMART objectives. We'll continue to address additional objectives and common both the SOL SMART and the GRC2 by educating communities about solar energy throughout Hazelcrest website, with the Hazelcrest website. Village staff will continue to participate in staff training to, for inspections relate to solar development. Additionally, the staff continues to track metrics related to solar energy proponent and a number of local uh, solar energy uh, installment, installment. But like everyone, uh, this accomplishment was not done alone. Again, Dave uh, from SoulSmart has been so phenomenal in supporting our staff, uh, making us better understand the permitting process. And so it's been exciting for the Village of Hazelcrest to be a part of the overhaul of getting this uh, bronze medal. Uh, next time, time uh, Mary Burns will make sure we get to go. But as we move forward in this process, it's so exciting to see all the great things happen. Uh, those of you who do not know, our hospital here, South River Hospital, has also installed solar panels, provides uh, solar energy not only for the hospital, but other uh, homes around the area. So we're happy, and we're excited to uh, be a part of this, and we'll continue to strive to make sure solar energy becomes a part of our community and surrounding community. So thank you, and we'll continue to work with you. Thank you, Mayor, very much. Our next community to be recognized, folks, is the village of Gurnee, where I spent many a summertime hanging out at Great America. Please welcome its mayor, Thomas Hood. Good morning, Mayor Hood. Morning, Mayor Byrne. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just uh, the village really appreciates uh, this bronze ward uh, designation. It was the goal of our Environmental Sustainability Committee to um, attain this goal and they've worked hard to do that um, along with our community development. Uh, so we've really appreciated uh, the assistance that the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus has provided to us um, in implementing this um, and we're looking forward to continuing and reaching uh, higher designations. Uh, for us, uh, solar friendly is good for everybody. Uh, so we look forward to having the Village of Gurney uh, be in step with everybody else in doing that for our community and for the state of Illinois. Uh, so again, thank you to the Mayor's Caucus and to IREC and just for your help as well, uh, Mayor Byrne. So back to you. Thank you very much. And how's, how's life in Gurney? Good? Gurney's good. Everything's going well. We're bouncing back better than we thought. So Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah. We'll Thanks. see you at the park soon. Yes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, our next community to be recognized for their bronze status is none other than my hometown. And I, of course, deserve absolutely no credit on this. All the credit goes to our professional staff, David DeGroote, our community development director, and of course, Eric Nelson, our building commissioner. We have received the bronze level designation and check it out. I've got it right here, folks. I'm gonna actually post this to the side of my electric vehicle and just cruise all over town to brag about it. I am delighted with the leadership of our staff. I'm delighted with the leadership of the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus, the Greenest Region Compact, the Energy and Environment Committee, and all those who join us in celebrating this first step, just like Mayor Hood said in Gurney, we continue to uh, usher in more success in the future. And I promise you, we'll be right, or raising, if you will, our standards as the days go by. So thank you again on behalf of the city of Geneva. Appreciate it very much. Now, moving on to the silver level designation. Are you ready for this? Here we go. To earn silver, folks, Soul Smart designees must complete all of the requirements for bronze, plus train, permit, and inspection of staff. They have also taken steps to clarify zoning. Silver designees have earned at least 100 points, and we have several, actually, we have two two communities to recognize this morning. Our first 
from the beautiful village of Bensonville, where my father-in-law was once a trustee. We have Curtis Posgay, Acting Director of Community Development. Mr. Posgay, good morning, congratulations, and welcome. Yeah, thank you, Mary Burns. Uh, you know, on behalf of the mayor of Mayor De Simone in the village of Bensonville, uh, I thank you. We're really excited about this designation. Uh, you know, we want to thank everyone at MMC, IREC, Soul Smart, who helped us do this process. I mean, there's no way we could have done it without any of you. Um, so it's been it's been a great experience. We we uh, you know we were aiming for bronze, you know, and and hoping just to get designated, and we're thrilled to receive the silver designation. Um, so really looking forward to, you know, the future of solar in Bensonville and, and of course of the region with the rest of the cohort. So again, thank you. And, uh, you know, really happy to be part of this group. Fantastic. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, our next recipient of the silver level designation for Soul Smart is the village of Broadview. And joining us this morning is David Upshaw, the building commissioner. Mr. Upshaw, good morning. Welcome. And congratulations. Good morning, everyone. My name is David Upshaw, Building Commissioner of the Village of Broadview. I'm here today representing Broadview Mayor Katrina Thompson. On behalf of the entire Village of Broadview, we want to offer our deepest appreciation to SoulSmart for recognizing the efforts of Broadview to create the legal framework to promote the adoption of solar energy for use in homes and businesses. We're proud to have earned the SoulSmart Silver Level designation. We are also personally proud of our community. Successfully adopting and implementing the Solar Energy Ordinance has been a community-wide effort. The mayor's office, the executive departments, the board of trustees, our business community, and our residents have all stood behind the Solar Energy Ordinance. Our community understands the challenges, dangers, and yes, the opportunities poised by climate change. Our community understands that if our residents and businesses are to thrive in the long term, that we must create the legal framework necessary to harness the full potential that <laughs> solar technology offers. Our residents and businesses want cleaner, cheaper, reliable energy to heat or to cool their homes and shops to keep their lights on. They also want to do their part to halt the ravages of climate change that they see in their own, with their own eyes on a daily basis. Because our residents and businesses have had a clear understanding of risk of climate change driven by an over-reliance on fossil fuels and the willingness and the courage to embrace alternative and clean energy, their support made the work of Mayor Katrina Thompson, my department, and the Board of Trustees that much easier to adopt the solar energy ordinance. So thank you once again to Soul Smart for the silver level designation. All of Broadview thanks you and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Upshaw. Please give our best to Mayor Thompson. Absolutely. She's wonderful to work with and we appreciate her support and friendship. Ladies and gentlemen, the highest Soul Smart level of course is gold. And gold Soul Smart designees not only complete all the requirements for the bronze and silver level, but they also must remove barriers to solar development in their zoning codes and commit to expeditious processing of solar permits. Gold designees earn at least 200 points. And folks, we have two very special communities with us this morning. First, the mayor of Mount Prospect, Mayor Paul Hofert, as a gold medal, excuse me, gold Soul Smart designee recipient. Mayor Hofer, good morning. Thank you and congratulations. Well, good morning. As the mayor of Mount Prospect, I'm both honored and I'm proud that Mount Prospect has received the Soul Smart gold designation. And I accept this des designation on behalf of a grateful community. The village of Mount Prospect decided to pursue the Soul Smart designation because encouraging local solar energy growth diversifies energy gener generation. It provides an opportunity for a return on investment and a red readily available solution to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The Soul Smart cohort provided no cost technical assistance and resources data village staff in identifying barriers to solar energy and to implement best practices to encourage solar energy development in our community. Our staff set their sights on gold. 
and we were able to achieve it because of the technical assistance received, as well as the steps that the village has uh, taken in prior years to support solar energy development. For example, six years ago in 2016, the village board unanimously voted to update our village code to allow rooftop solar in all of our zoning districts. And as a result, over the past three years, we've averaged 40 solar installations each year. We're hopeful that achieving the SolSmart goal designation will show our citizens that the village is looking forward to the future and is highly supportive of their interest in pursuing renewable energy. Our installing solar energy system web pages are a great resource for our residents and our business owners to make informed solar PV purchases. In addition, because of SolSmart, our building and inspection staff is now knowledgeable and stands ready to provide answers to their questions regarding solar. Solar energy is clearly an important tool for building a more resilient future and Mount Prospect wants to be on the forefront of the alternative energy movement. And again, I thank you, uh, SolSmart, for this designation. Thank you, Mayor, and again, congratulations. Thank you. From the village of Carroll Stream, folks, a gold level soul smart community. Please welcome Don Bastion, Community Development Director. Good morning, Don. Good morning, Mayor. Thank you very much. Uh, I am pleased to speak on behalf of Mayor Severino and the Village of Carroll Stream regarding our gold designation from SoulSmart. The Village of Carroll Stream places a high priority on processing all building permit applications efficiently and truly partnering with permit applicants to make the permit process as easy as possible. Working with the Mayor's Caucus and IREC has improved the efficiency of our solar energy permit process. The resources made available to us by IREC make it very easy for our residents to access any and all information needed to plan for a solar energy project. The next solar energy permit we issue in Carroll Stream will be our 200th. We are grateful for the assistance that the Mayor's Caucus and IREC has provided to help us better serve our residents. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations on the Magic 200. And please extend to your mayor our thanks as well. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure and my thrill to welcome Martha Dooley to be the very first to congratulate our new Soul Smart designees. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for that uh, nice introduction. It's a pleasure to be with all of you today and um, to offer you my most sincerest congratulations on the achievement and the honor that you've uh, received today. So having gone through this process in 2017, I know firsthand the hard work that goes into the designation you've achieved. And for those of you that had to develop solar ordinances uh, to earn your uh, designation, I bow and salute you because it is a yeoman's task and um, something that you should really be proud of. Um, I can tell you it's been worth it. Um, your communities, the region, the state, and as we think about it, actually the entire world will benefit from your efforts. Uh, so important to remember that everything done on a local level has an impact um, nationwide and across this wonderful planet. Um, during the SoulSmart process, the village went a little bit further and we created a specific permit type uh, for residential and, and commercial and multifamily uh, solar permits so that we could track um, progress in future years. So uh, in 2017, when we went through the process with SolSmart, there was just one residential solar permit um, and rooftop solar system in the village everywhere. But since achieving our silver designation, which I wish I could get gold, but um, the village can report 245 active or completed residential permits, meaning they're, um, they've been submitted, some may still be under review, some are in construction and some are completed. This represents a 24,500% increase in the number of residential rooftop systems in the village, which is huge. Um, we, uh, I looked through all the permits and uh, figured out that we have 1.646 megawatts of capacity installed. And this represents um, an investment of over $5 million in the village on residential solar alone. Uh, incredibly important to economic development and uh, you know, making sure that Schaumburg is a sustainable and thriving community uh, down the road. Uh, 
So if anyone ever uh, has a question or wants to contact Schaumburg about some of the things we've been done, please reach out to me. Um, Edith Macra has all my contact info and I'm happy to assist Soul Smart in the future. Um, again, congratulations, everybody. Great job. Thank you, Martha. And I, I have to add, uh, Martha's humility is, is obviously uh, a fine thing, but keep in mind, folks, her innovation and her enthusiasm has made Schaumburg one of the most successful Soul Smart communities in the region. And if that's not enough, you'll probably, if you've ever seen or are interested in seeing some of the videos we have online, both on the Metro Malton Mayor's Caucus website and the Soul Smart websites, you will see Martha featured prominently and well-deserved. So thank you again, Martha. Now folks, please join me in welcoming, congratulating, applauding, appreciating, and celebrating all of our newly designated Soul Smart communities. I invite all of you to turn on your cameras and use the reactions button, offer applause and encouragement, or let us just at least, at the very least, see you applauding from a distance. So congratulations to all 10 communities. That's, a, that's gonna be a great photo op, folks. A very special thanks again to Director Dr. Paul Kearns of Argon and his team for hosting this event. And of course, Dr. Kearns for your entire team's friendship and support. Thank you to the Soul Smart team, Teresa, Dave, Avery, for a wonderful program and your tireless, valuable assistance to our Soul Smart communities. Thank you, Marcus, Martha, and of course, Secretary Granholm for your support and encouragement. And special thanks, most importantly, I think, to the municipal staff, fellow mayors, and the advocates who supported you for your remarkable achievements to make it faster, easier, and cheaper to go solar. Together, we achieved the goals of the Greenest Region Compact and the Climate Action Plan for the Chicago region. And I am delighted to walk hand in hand and shoulder to shoulder with all of you in doing exactly that. Ladies and gentlemen, Illinois is number one state for Soul Smart in the United States. And it's no wonder because of leaders like you, friends like you, supporters like you. I appreciate your collaboration. I appreciate all that you do. And I thank you again for spending some time with us on this St. Patrick's Day. Have a great Thursday. Be safe, be good. Congratulations. And thank you again. So long, everyone.